and our goal is to understand yours so we can help you be confident about your financial security and your future. Call me, Sean O'Quinn, your local country financial representative today to talk about how we can help ensure that the future you're dreaming of is something you can proudly own no matter what it looks like. My number is 588-1051. We are having a great day at CHSGA Home Health. We know there's no place like home when recovering from an illness or surgery. CHSGA Home Health provides the compassionate care and services you or a loved one is in need of. Our services include skilled nursing, physical, occupational, speech therapy, and IV medication therapy. CHSGA Home Health has multiple disease management programs designed to meet your individual needs. Give us a call to hear more about how we can help you to have a great day as you recover in the comforts of your home. 912-916-9195. That's CHSGA. GA Home Health. You know Harris Ace Hardware has everything you need for your building and home repair projects. But did you know Harris Ace Hardware carries a wide assortment of air filters for your home or office? They can even special order. Harris Ace is your hometown Yeti dealer. Plus they carry Coastal Damar and Calcutta sunglasses. And check with Harris Ace for all your painting needs. Harris Ace will not be beat on price and will match any competitor's price. The helpful place. Harris Ace Hardware in Jess of Eudonia and Hinesville. Did you have an appliance unexpectedly break down? Not in the budget? No credit? No problem. Stop by your local Sears hometown store today and lease a brand new appliance from our best brand selection of Whirlpool, Maytag, LG, Samsung, KitchenAid, and more. Not only does your Sears hometown store in Jessup offer leasing on brand new products, it's also at a low monthly price that fits your budget. So visit your Sears hometown store in Jessup today, 977 South 1st Street, for great leasing on new products. Agent income requirements apply. See store for details. South Georgia's been as cold as a well digger's thermometer. But here's something that can heat things up. It's Uncle Woody's Red Hot Clear the Lot Sale on all 17 Chevy Buicks and GMCs. You drive mine, I'll drive yours, and I'll give you a deal sweeter than Nanner Put. $12,000 off MSRP on all 17 GMC Sierra 1500 double cabs. Booyah! Hey, $9,000 off sticker on 18 GMC Sierra Crew Cab SLT and Chevy Silverado LT. So Red Hot Hot Clear the Lot event is happening at Woody Folsom Automotive. Better get the bash and grab $10,000 savings on 17 Buick LaCrosse. Get in here and do it, do it. I can't thank you enough for being so good to us. You mean the world to us. Click on WoodyFolsom.com and then come see us on 341 West in Baxley. Who loves you, baby? Fly new roads to Woody Folsom Automotive. Nobody sells Chevy, Buick, GMC, or used cars for less. Our restrictions apply as a deal for details. Renew Plastic Surgery now offers cool sculpting, which safely eliminates stubborn fat without surgery or downtime. With three cool locations in Brunswick, St. Mary's, and Waycross, Renew is the largest cool sculpting provider in Southeast Georgia. Whether you are interested in treating a problem area or are considering a total transformation, schedule your free consultation and learn what cool sculpting and Renew Plastic Surgery can do for you. Local news on WIFO. It's time now for a look at the latest in local news. In the news, the Wayne County Board of Education met Tuesday afternoon for a work session, short meeting, first on the agenda election of chairman and vice chairman for the year 2018. Board opted to stay with Chairman Nick Ellis and Vice Chair Janet Royal. Ellis was presented the plaque of appreciation from Superintendent Jay Brins for the two years he's been on the board as chairman. Board discussed sidewalks to New Martha Ralph Smith Elementary School. Superintendent Jay Brinson says he had a conversation with City Manager Mike Deal, and the consensus is that it's a city of just a project. Brinson relayed the message the board would like to see sidewalks to the school, which there currently are not any, but Brinson says he did ask did what was asked and relayed the message from the board to the city of Jessup. Superintendent presented the board with updates on facility rentals and hiring timeline for school employees, which Dr. Brinson says was implemented a few years ago. Bridges says that timeline has helped with recruiting and retaining teachers here at Wayne County High School. Tony Williams presented the board with the November financial report, and the board discussed their upcoming track project. Board member Sharon Daniels has some concerns, stating she doesn't want to see any recycled materials used for the project. Sykes Brothers won the bid. Dr. Brent says the best thing to do is have someone from Sykes Brothers appear before the board and present the project to the board. Ray Davidson says it's most likely best to do that and wait a few weeks and get all the information before the project begins. Board has allocated a million dollars towards the new track project. 
would be built at the high school near the football practice field. Daniel says she's heard there's a push to build the track at the current track site at J.C. Stadium, but she says she's totally against that, saying there simply isn't enough space. She wants it built at the high school. Finally, an executive session for personnel. The board approved the following personnel on Tuesday. Certified resignations, Holly O'Quinn, Jessup Elementary. Classified transfers, Yvette Dennison, Central Office, Title I Pre-K to Central Office School, Food Service Bookkeeper. Classified resignations, April Goober, Odom Elementary. Vanessa Simmons, Odom Elementary Retirement, and Caitlin Vickers, Jessup Elementary. Also meeting this week was newly elected Scrivener Mayor Jason Weaver and the Scriven Council, which had a meeting on Monday. Also had an executive session, which followed with the mayor unanimously being named the CEO and CFO for the city's business and is to be the supervisor of Scriven City Hall and the financial business of the city, including the responsibility to approve all city expenditures. As at the meeting, the new mayor... His council heard a presentation from Auditor Chris Harris, who informed them that the city of Scriven hasn't done a city audit over a three-year period, and the audit he conducted for the fiscal year 2013 and 2014 simply is not good news. That funds are missing. SPOS funds have been commingled with general fund money, both against state law. Harris says checks have been stamped instead of actually being signed by the mayor of Scriven. WIFOFM talked Tuesday with former mayor of Scriven, Melvin Boyette, and City Clerk Janet Royal. Royal has resigned her position as City Clerk, which she's held for close to eight years in Scriven. She says she cannot comment at this time. Melvin Boyette says he's aware that the city hasn't done an audit in years. He attempted to have one done, but he says he simply fell through the cracks. He says he takes the blame for that, saying he wanted one done, but the city never did one. He says he shouldn't have kept that information quiet, but was keeping that quiet to protect personal friends. Barbara Daniels was unanimously named the city's new clerk on Monday. She says she'll take the position on the promise by the mayor and council that she'll be provided training for the bookkeeping requirements. In his report, Auditor Harris says as much as $90,000 in SPLOS money appears to have been moved into the general fund account. It's unlawful to use SPLOS money for any other purpose other than what the voters voted to be used for as special projects, as the SPLOS money has to be earmarked for certain projects. Harris' report shows that about 70000 appears to be missing from city funds. Recommendation Monday night is to simply turn all these findings over to the proper authorities, which is the GBI. Harris told the council that he hopes to have the 2014-2015 audit completed in the next 30 to 45 days, and all audits brought up to date by the end of the year. WIFOFM has been given a copy of Harris's report for the year ending June 30, 2014. It's a 58-page document. Harris says as far as the missing money, simply can't tell the new mayor and council where the money is or where it went. If it went to somebody's personal use or what, he simply says he cannot say. That's the reason to let the proper authorities take over and sort it all out. WFOFM talked with Scriven Mayor Jason Weaver on Tuesday. He simply says he has no comment except to say that it's a mess. He says his campaign slogan was to just do right. Weaver says he assures the citizens of Scriven that they'll turn their findings over to the GBI to determine if any criminal charges should be filed, and if so, against who. Again, WFOFM will continue to follow this story as it develops. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. Totally transparent car buying. With Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC live market pricing, know for certain you're buying at the low market price. We constantly monitor multiple auto and competitor websites to always offer the most aggressive market prices. No games, no gimmicks, no kidding. That's why Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC is the home of the no-hassle deal. Skip the runaround and discover the difference of truly transparent buying on every new and pre-owned vehicle every day. We're online just like you, and we continuously scan pricing on hundreds of vehicles to update prices in real time. At Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC, know for certain that our live market price is the low market price. Experience a new and totally transparent way to buy with live market pricing. Chevy, find new roads. Blue Collar Heating and Air is your top-of-the-line carrier dealer. They service many brands and specialize in new installations, upgrading existing equipment, and airflow problems. They also have a large variety of hard-to-find filters in stock. So when quality counts, call the air conditioning experts, Richard Whitley and David Dial, at Blue Collar Heating and Air, 427-6400. For weekend service emergencies, they have an experienced service technician on call. So remember, when quality counts, choose carrier and turn to the experts at Blue Collar Heating and Air, 1907 Sunset Boulevard in Chesup, serving Wayne County and surrounding areas are you drowning in debt save your car your home your sanity attorney joe lynn perkle and her staff are a debt relief agency and are here to help you file bankruptcy under the bankruptcy code 
They will guide you every step of the way and make sure you understand the process. Located in Jessup and Hinesville. Call today for your free consultation. 912-427-9067. 912-427-9067. Remember, when it comes to the law, we handle it all. This past Friday, the Wayne County Chamber of Commerce showed its annual eggs and issues breakfast. We've been hearing from those in attendance and on hand were our local legislation, State Senator Blake Tillery, State Representative Chad Nimmer, and Bill Workheiser. Today we'll hear from Bill Workheiser, who will be calling in on the Butch and Bob Show with Wednesdays with Workheiser. Here were his comments at the eggs and issues breakfast. Here are State Representative Bill Workheiser, uh, eggs and issues breakfast. Your thoughts on how it went? I thought it was very good. I thought we uh, had a little bit more time this time around to, to talk, um, and I think we, we covered a broad spectrum. Uh, I don't think there's very many things we left un, unturned. Well, the session begins Monday, so what's your thoughts on how it's going to go, and what are some of the key issues for you? Um, again, as, as we talked about, the adoption bill is going to be key. Um, I, I, if, if the Senate will give us a clean adoption bill, then I think we'll move along. If they want to play policy and play games, uh, it's going to be tough for the House to, to move on stuff, and, and they want to get out so they can campaign, but um, I'm more interested in doing sound policy than I am playing political games. As you mentioned, education, big part of the budget, 50% of every dollar goes to education. You mentioned the teacher retirement fund. Uh, you're not in favor of messing with that, are you? Not right now. I haven't heard a proposal that I am in favor of changing to. So unless someone uh, brings, you know, us something, um, I mean, it's it's been working. But as as the other two gentlemen said, at some point it may not. You know, it was two hundred million last year, four hundred million next year. I mean, what if it goes to eight hundred million to a billion dollars? I mean, some something will have to give one day. Any other key issues that you see? I don't think. Like I said, I, I think we covered it. Uh, you know, but the one thing we didn't talk about was the um, because it doesn't affect our area as much. But there was another study committee that got a lot of press, and that was the uh, transit committee um, deciding. You know, should we invest money in rail? There's there's two sides of that. Um, some people think in 20 years that um, if, if you know half the cars are self-driving cars, and you know we shouldn't be putting any money in rail, and and so. But we're but that's going to be a healthy discussion because if you've been to Atlanta lately, you know what a nightmare it is. There's still no luck on the red light at Joey Williamson Road. Uh, that was disappointed here. Uh, been trying to get one for two years, and as you mentioned, they state we just don't meet the requirements. Right, um, and we know that's not a fair answer because of the Brunswick situation, which is almost identical to our to our situation. Um, but uh, as I mentioned, um, every time I see Ann for sale, um, I'm bugging her about it. Um, we're, we did write a joint letter to the uh, commissioner, and we're just we're going to keep hammering. And, and you know, Blake said some, at one point, at sometime they're going to need us, um, and so we do, we're waiting for a point of leverage. Is the cost the issue? I mean, can we just donate, raise the money one kind of get it ourselves, or what's the, what's the deal? You know, that's a great question. I, I can't imagine. And, and you know, some of the figures I've heard is you know, hundred thousand, which yes, that's a lot of money, but in the, in the scheme of the the transportation and what we've raised, you know, just you know, through House Bill 170 here locally, um, I can't imagine money being the issue. And I think it's really more of a pr- they've got so many things going right now. It's just it's a priority. Okay. Well, we'll look forward to Wednesdays with Workizers. Well, I'm looking forward to it too, and thank you for all that y'all do. And once again, those comments to Representative Bill Workhouser will be calling in this morning on the World Famous Pitch and Bob Show. Again, he'll be calling each Wednesday during the session. Blake Tillery will be calling in each Tuesday. Wayne County Historical Society meets this Thursday at Sybil's Family Restaurant. Guest speaker for the evening will be Ernie Harris. He'll speak on his family from the Oakland community. That street meal begins at 615. Program begins Thursday at 7. Again, at Sybil's Family Restaurant. Members and visitors are invited to attend. We'll come back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor, Other Commercial Messages. So please stay tuned. Totally transparent car buying. With Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC live market pricing, know for certain you're buying at the low market price. We constantly monitor multiple auto and competitor websites to always offer the most aggressive market prices. No games, no gimmicks, no kidding. 
That's why Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC is the home of the no-hassle deal. Skip the runaround and discover the difference of truly transparent buying on every new and pre-owned vehicle every day. We're online just like you, and we continuously scan pricing on hundreds of vehicles to update prices in real time. At Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC, know for certain that our live market price is the low market price. Experience a new and totally transparent way to buy with live market pricing. Chevy, find new roads. Hello, Sybil's Family Restaurant. Hi, have you been getting a lot of calls from a little boy? Well, yes, as a matter of fact, we have. Well, that's my son. He just loves your place. He always talks about how you have something for everyone. We do have something for everyone with the best fried chicken around, steaks, burgers, sandwiches, seafood, homemade desserts, and so much more to choose from. Your son keeps calling us looking for everything. I'm so sorry that he keeps bothering you. Derek! Yes, Mom? You've got to stop bothering those nice folks at work. But, Mom! They got so many neat things. I love talking to them. Well, I would love it if you would finish your chores before you start making phone calls. Mister, if you really have something for everyone, do you have someone who can do my chores for me? Well, that's one thing Sybil's Family Restaurant really can't help you with, son. I thought so. Derek, chores. Coming, Mom. We've got something for everyone at Sybil's Family Restaurant near the intersection of 341 and Highway 84 in Jessup. Final notes and news. A reminder again, the first blood drive of the year taking place at Waymore Hospital. The date set for Friday, January 26th from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Can you register early? Visit redcrossblood.org. Make your appointment online using sponsor code Wayne Memorial Hospital. Once again, the date, Friday, January 26th. All blood types will be needed. Again, all walk-ins are welcome. Again, but if you'd like to make an early appointment, again, you can visit the redcrossblood.org website. And again, Go online using sponsor code Wayne Memorial Hospital. Again, the story we've been following, keeping everybody up to date, there's going to be a public meeting eventually on this topic, but the Wayne County Commissioners, along with the Chief Registrar, K. Arnold, are proposing consolidating 14 polling locations to just seven in Wayne County due to costs, and also the fact that over 50% of the votes in the last election took place during the early voting period at the Wayne County Courthouse, which runs for three weeks. Seven precincts being proposed remain open. Madger Springs and Odom Precinct would vote at the Odom Rec Center. Oglethorpe Precinct and Red Hill would vote at Red Hill. The Rich Precinct would merge with Scriven and vote at the Scriven Community Center. Altam Hall and VFW would vote at Bennett Union Church. Union Empire would vote at Union Church of God. Mine Pleasant Precinct would merge with Gardai and vote at the Gardai Precinct. Pine Street Precinct and Rick Center would vote at the Rick Center. Those are the seven precincts now being proposed by the county and by the registrar's office. In a letter sent to Election Superintendent Tammy Thornton from K. Arnold, in the letter states that due to Rich Precinct having the same Combo number as Scriven and Mount Pleasant having the same combo number as Gardai. They like to merge these precincts. Their states, they would no longer acknowledge these two precincts, therefore no longer have to print paper ballots, which would save taxpayer dollars. Once again, the commissioners received the letter and are considering consolidating from 14 precincts to 7 for the elections in the year 2018. First primary election set for the month of May with state offices such as Governor, Lieutenant Governor, Secretary of State all up for this year election cycle again just to name a few but again that story will continue to follow as it develops that's going to do for latest in local news sports comes your way in a few minutes bob organson have a great day